Welcome to another edition of the Sabres Spotlight on the Marion Sports Network as we get the 2018-2019 season going. And really excited right now to bring in the new head coach for the Marion Cross Country and Track and Field teams, Chris Scott. Chris, thank you so much for joining us on the Sabres Spotlight. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. Now, you've been around since probably May. You were hired as a head coach in, uh, that, yes. in that capacity. Yes, sir. Uh, right around that time, uh, my little short time, I had a great experience here so far and ready to get things going. Explain how, what it's been like for you since you got here in May to where we're at getting ready to start the cross country season um it's been pretty intense just trying to get everybody on the same page meeting all the team uh make sure that we all understand what's going on in the new journey that we're entering in before we talk about the sabers and what we should look for in the cross country season and probably talk a little bit about track and field as well but uh tell us about yourself you came to us from arrival lakeland yes sir uh so that's kind of a big thing uh, everybody seems to be talking about it. it's huge um, you know, coming from Lakeland to Marion, I understand the rivalry is big here. Uh, so that's one thing that we're definitely looking forward to do is to take it all the way, all the way through. Now, before, well, first of all, how long were you at Lakeland? I was there for about three and a half years as assistant sprints and jumps coach. And before that, you had a little work in the high school level, and also you had a pretty solid uh, college career? Yes, sir. I started off at Kentucky State University, which is the Division II uh, college out in uh, Frankfurt, Kentucky. Um, started off volunteer coaching there. Um, I did that for one year. Then I became an assistant coach two years uh, for two years. And after that, we had about 15 state qualifiers, um, over two state champions. So it came up here about a year after that and then been at Lakeland for three and a half years and now ready to get the journey going to Marion. Now, when you were a student athlete yourself, did you think coaching track and field and cross country is going to be something in your future? When did you kind of get that interest that, hey, you want to be a coach? <laughs> um, actually, to be honest, I did not really think uh, coaching cross country was going to be in, into my future. I thought um, I was like, okay, man, I always want the long jump for the Olympics. That was a big goal of mine. Um, but then I fell in love with it. I got asked to um, – Coach one young man, he was, oh, man, that's fantastic. So from that experience, I just kept on rolling with it and kept it going, um, then did a little bit of volunteering, and then from there I kept it pushing. Now, Marion University is a relatively young program when it comes to cross country and track and field. Yes. What intrigued you about uh, about the Sabres and the job here? Um, that's pretty much it, it being such a young team, um, and it's looking for someone to help build it um, and it's turn it into a dynasty. Um, and that's something that I'm interested in and I'm hungry to do. And uh, talking to the young young athletes, young men and women on the team, um, they have taken these last couple of days of our training serious and uh, super, super hungry to get the season going. So when you build a program, what what is your vision? You said you want to become a dynasty. You want to be yes. a team that really competes in the NAC. How do you go about building that? How do you go about finding the right student athlete fit to, to work right here at Marion? Um, it all comes from uh, first letting them know what type of coach you are. Um, and when you figure that out and they understand that you're um, a go get it type of coach and that's that's who I am. I'm a go get them. Um, I want to make sure that we all understand what kind of dynasty and what kind of family um, that we're bringing. Um, and, and in order to get that, um, you have to find those type of students that's determined, that's um, educated in the concept of becoming a student athlete. Um, but once you be able to put all of those pieces together, then that's where you have that amazing team. One of the things that has really amazed me in my time here at Mary in the last few years is that the recruiting base, yes. it stretches not only across the United States, but across the world. Yes. Right. How do you attack that? How do you uh, how do you uh, go about finding the, the right fit for here for campus here? Um, I love it. Uh, definitely doing the different searches um, all over the place. Um, me being an athlete from Ohio. Um, sometimes after a while sitting at home, it's like, okay, I've been here for 18 years. Um, I want to know what the next 50 states look like. And I want to be able to say, hey, I'm young. So how do I get out? And the best thing to do is when those coaches from all over the place start reaching out, you try to figure out which coach has the best flavor for you and how it fits for you. Now the cross country team heads to CUW on September 8th to get yes. their season going. Can you, can you talk about your squad and who you have and, and, some, and, and just what are, what are your impressions of what you've seen from those student athletes here uh, through the first part of the workouts? Uh, we have a lot of returners. Jacob, he's one hungry young man. Um, he has a sight set on a, a lot of a lot of strong goals that are definitely in his reaching aspect that we are definitely planning on him attacking. 
Um, just fixing up a little few kinks that he has, and once we get that going, it's definitely going to be a dynasty make for him. Um, also for Alyssa, um, one of our strong cross-country runners, she's also going to be amazing uh, once we get her stride worked on because she has super long legs, so that's definitely going to play a huge, huge part. Um, and then once we move into our, our track events, we have our young incoming freshman, Emily, um, who's an outstanding high jumper that we are actually planning on pushing her to her all that she can do. Well, it should, it should be fun to watch the cross country team. Uh, what this is probably a generic knack question. Like, what's a good time, say, in cross country? First of all, how far do they run again for the men and women? Oh, uh, you're looking at eight k for the men, about six k for the okay. women. Okay, yes. and, and what are good times? Uh, what, do you look for team? Obviously, you're looking for individual, probably best in each meet. But yes. what are good times? Like, say, what are times they can compete and finish near the top of the knack? Um, I'm hoping to have somebody come off, which I believe Jacob will be that guy to come out with about a good 26 time. Uh, I think if he comes off opening up with that, I think it would make him feel super comfortable in his form and knowing that, okay, hey, this coach came in at such short time notice and he was able to push that and get me going. I think that it would be an amazing start for him. With the cross-country team, too, you have some athletes that kind of do dual things as well, yes. multi-sport athletes here. Yes. yes. And how does that is, that, is that one of those things that, you know, they're active all year round and do you, do you anticipate them being able to do things with cross-country, you know, you know, 12 months out of the year yes. in track? Um, actually, what I try to do is if I know that they play also, they play basketball. Some things I try to do is make sure that our workouts best fit for them with cross country and track and that when it rolls over to their basketball workout, they didn't lose a single step, whether it's working on their back pedal, whether it's working on their hip flexors, any event or whichever sport that I know that you're getting ready to go back to, I will definitely make sure that you have that upper hand when you go back there. How competitive is the knack for a cross country and what are some of the top teams in the league that you look at as teams that are they're going to be right there at the end? Oh, man, and that conference for cross-country is super, super competitive. Definitely when you look at WLC, um, they are a distance program base, um, and their distance has gone back for, the I want to say, since I've been coaching in that conference about three and a half years. Um, so you always know that they're going to come very strong, and the only thing that we can do is get ready to come back strong at them. Pretty challenging courses across the conference as well? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Definitely when it rains, man. It makes the course super, super slippery and muddy. So, And then the only thing you can tell your athletes is stay hungry, stay driven, and go after it. I on the track and field side, obviously you're the coach as well. That's yes. more of a – late winter into the spring you go with that obviously one of the things they've been trying to build here at marion is to fill more and more events and is that the case for you you're looking to you know add to uh the, the kids that have already committed here and the kids that have been participating yes sir uh definitely uh, i'm trying to add on to different fields uh i know last year we didn't have too many great high jumpers so with Emily coming in, that's a huge step. Uh, we have a strong, strong uh, men's course for the 400 coming in. Uh, so they were definitely planning on putting together a great 4x4 four four for that unit because I know last year there was no 4x4 four four for the men or 4x1. Uh, so that's something big that we're interested in having this year. Sure. When you start adding more and more events to the spring side when it comes to track and field, that's probably got to help recruiting as well because then when you come to a student athlete, you know, I know last year was a big thing where they started taking a regular coach bus here. So yes. another step into the process of building a solid program at Marion. Yes. You're like you get more, the more and more numbers you get, probably the, the more and more, uh, you know, kids, you, you know, look at Marion and say, hey, this is a place where, where I need to be when I, you know, to continue my, not only my academic career, but also my, my athletic career. Yes. Yes. Big time. Big time. Hey, Chris, anything else people need to know about you? What do you like to do in your spare time uh, here? And, uh, do you have any spare time this time of year? Maybe not with the no. country. What do you like to do when you're not wearing the, the Marion University Saver uh, uh, uniform? Oh, uh, man, I'm a laid back guy. I'm, I'm still young, so uh, I catch myself playing a couple games of Call of Duty, uh, 2K, definitely. I can't wait to get the new Madden since it just came okay. out. Uh, so I'm definitely checking up on my Browns. I'm a Browns fan. Cleveland Browns fan? Are yes, you going to win yes. some games this year? Oh, man, I believe we're going to go over 500. Definitely, I believe so. Baker Mayfield going to start? No, I think it's going to go Tyrod Taylor to start <laughs> off with. I like Baker Mayfield, but I think we need to let the rookie get a little custom to the game. See, I was never a Madden guy. I was always an NCAA football yes. guy <laughs> where I would sit and I would play for like 24 hours straight. Okay, when yes, came yes. Out and I never got, got to the Madden part of it. Now the NCAA is gone, so I'm a man without a country when it comes to, <laughs> comes to video games. Chris, if people are looking uh, to get involved with Marion University Cross Country, a potential student athlete watching this, or track and field, uh, they can find your information information at saberathletics.com yes sir definitely um please look me up uh look us up and we definitely love to have more athletes again september 8th down at cuw the marion cross country team will make their 2018 debut new head coach chris scott thank you so much for joining us this has been a saber spotlight on the marion sports network thank you